absolutely love team sports. I love them because of the unique contrast between an individual responsibility, an individual accountability, and the collective nature, the collective unity of a team. I love team sports because it combines those two elements that we together are going to try to accomplish something together, but also within that every person, every individual, every part of that team has a responsibility, right? So I grew up loving all of that, loving the contrast between those two. I played basketball, I played baseball, I played around with soccer, but, but I think nothing embodies that more than football and nothing embodies that more than the position I played, which is cornerback, right? So I love to this day into my late 40s, I love imagining and going back to those moments on game day where I'm in the huddle with 10 of my best friends, 10 of my of my colleagues, 10 of the, the people I trust more than anybody to help me accomplish my vision, my dream, my goal in the moment. 10 of the people I trust more than anything to help me fight the battle that we're fighting. But every play in football, every play when you're a cornerback involves this. You're in the huddle, you call the play, and then you break, and then you disperse. And nobody on the field, on the, in the football defensive huddle, walks further away from the unit, further away from the battalion, if you will, further away from the group than the cornerback does. So we're in the huddle and I see all my guys that are doing their jobs, right? I see my general, the middle linebacker. I see, I see all, the, all the parts, all the pieces of the unit. And then we leave and I break the huddle and I'm walking out. And I love, to this day, I love how it feels to remember how, how it felt to walk away as I walk and I see the wide receiver that I'm covering. I see the formation of the team, the opposing team that I'm going against, and I'm walking away to my spot, which for most of my career was left cornerback. So I'm out here and I'm by myself, right? I'm playing corner, right? I'm part of a team, but in this moment, it's me against him. I'm part of a team, but in this moment, I have a job that is mine to do. I'm part of a team, but I'm accountable to whatever my job was as part of that team. And I love this scenario, I love this analogy because it embodies not just sports, but our life. Because we're all a part of a team. We're all a part of a group. It might be a real team in sports. It might be a company that you work for. It might be a relationship. It might be a family. It might be a school. Right? We're all, it might be a community. It might be your street. It might be your neighborhood. We're all a part of a team. And so collectively, we're trying to do the best we can to make this company grow, to make this family grow, to make this team win. But inside that unit, inside that team, inside that group, you have a job to do. You have a responsibility, as does everybody else on that team. So if all of us, if all 11 of us do our job, the unit wins. If the whole team has that mindset, then the whole team wins. But every play comes down to whether or not each of those pieces does his job. Each of those pieces does her job. So yes, I love the, 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 the feel. I love the unity. I love the love that comes with a group or a team or a company, right? But I also love that I'm responsible to that team, to that unit, to that group, to that family. I'm responsible to do what my job is to do. And so we have to walk through life understanding that, that yes, we're all trying to grow as a world, as a nation, as a state, 
as a city, as a family, as a company, as a team. We're all trying to grow and be the best we can. But within that, what is your role? Within that, what is your job? And I want you guys to take that job to heart. Because in my scenario, I know that as I walk out to my spot, I know that if I don't do my job, we lose. If my man beats me, we lose. So yes, we're a team, right? But if Bobby don't do his job, the team loses. And that's, that same concept applies to everybody, not just me. But if everybody has that mindset, if everybody has that feeling, if everybody has that accountability, we can't lose. But it starts with you. It starts with me. It starts with you understanding, I have a job to do for my team, for my family, for my school, for my community. I have a job to do. What's my job? So figure it out. Right, spend your days understanding the part of the unit that you represent, the part of the team that you represent, the part of the family, the community, the school, the company, the part of that group that you represent. And then be accountable. Take honor, take ownership in understanding, accepting, acknowledging, and then doing your best to figure out and accomplish whatever your job is. So from this day forward, I'm gonna ask you guys one question every day of the week, right? As you break the metaphorical huddle of your community, the metaphorical huddle of your company, the metaphorical huddle of your family or team, I want you guys to break that huddle and continue to ask yourself, what's my job? 